Launcher is the starting point for your work with Linkit Helper. First, you need to attach a LinkedIn account to start working with it. Click Add New, then enter your email. Password is optional, as you will need to log into your account later anyway. Next, you need a valid Linkit Helper license. Go to the Licenses section in the menu. You can purchase a license for personal use or for the company. First time you install Linkit Helper, you will get a one month trial license. Further on, you will need to buy new. Select your preferred method of payment and your license duration. Next, I'm going to assign one of the licenses to my newly added LinkedIn account. Select the account, click Assign License. I'll choose the company one. Click the Start button next to the account. The license gets activated and a separate instance of the application opens. Using filters on top, you can select to display running, stopped, active only accounts. Archived accounts are hidden from view, but you may do the reverse section and bring them back to the list. The account has been started. Here's a separate instance where I can go ahead creating campaigns. In certain cases, you might want to add a proxy to change the location from where you manage your LinkedIn account. This is an optional step. To do this, go to Proxies, click Add New, enter necessary proxy details. Click Test and Save for a quick test of the connection. On the top panel, you will see the button Assign a Proxy. Select a proxy and then the account it needs to be tied to. Under Linkit Helper Account tab, you can change password. Enter your billing details to get future invoices. Speaking of which, take a look at the orders and invoices. Here you may buy more licenses or order an invoice for your complete purchase. If you work as a team under Organizations, click Add New to set up a company page. You will need to fill in the billing information, add employee emails, buy licenses for teams and manage them assigning and switching between employees. Linkit Helper data is stored locally on your computer. Backups need to be done manually each time you migrate to a new machine. Click Backup and then Export to download a file. You can rename it in line with your LinkedIn account to easily recognize for which account it's been created. On the new machine you would need to click Backup and Import to restore from the backup file. Automatic backups are done along with updates for the software. Finally, if you no longer need an account, you can hide it from view by clicking Archive. Don't worry. You can later redeem it back.